What's up everybody? Digibro here, feeling pretty fresh and clean for 2016. And uh, I just wanted to take a second to look back on the previous year and uh, sort of assess where things went, how things went, where things have gone, and also to maybe talk about all the stuff I did last year, especially for those of you who might um, not know about some of it. I, I made a lot of stuff last year. In spite of the fact that 2015 was a pretty tumultuous year in terms of me having to deal with a lot of copyright issues, having videos get taken down routinely, having my whole channel get taken down for two weeks back in February, which was a, a trying time, um, you know, losing monetization here and there, losing video rights, you know, I still have a strike on my account that's causing me to keep all my videos under 15 minutes and not have thumbnails, which is a huge pain in the ass, but uh, should be going away soon, actually, sometime this month, hopefully, assuming nothing worse happens in the meantime, but uh, in spite of all that, in spite of all the issues I had, all the re-hosting videos here and there and all that stuff, I actually managed to put out by far not only the most content that I've ever put out in a year before, but also the highest quality, in my opinion, content that I've ever put out in a year before. I had all of my best videos, by my standard, all the ones that I'm the most proud of now came from the past year. The Psychopaths vs. Psychopaths 2 project, which is was up until... The Asterisk War was my favorite thing I've ever written. Um, the Asterisk War is still ongoing, of course. I wrote most of it last year. I'm finishing it up. Um, I think by the end of it, maybe you'll be able to appreciate why I feel this way, but I think it's probably the best thing I've written yet. Um, but the, the sort of reasons why only become apparent towards the back end of it. But anyways, you know... The Psychopaths videos, uh, I did the Spirited Away analysis, the 30-minute Spirited Away analysis, which, um, you know, a lot of people have told me is their favorite thing that I've written, um, a lot of my friends and stuff like that. The Ava series that I'm still pretty proud of and hopefully will find a way to continue in 2016. I get asked about it constantly. People really seem to like, like, people really seem to resonate with that series more so than any other that I've done. People are always asking me to do more Ava videos. Um, the reason I didn't do more of them is that I kind of had all the ideas f that I did so far in my head beforehand. Like, I've rewatched the first part of Ava a lot more than the second part, and so I kind of had in mind, like, what I was going to be seeing. And in the second half of the show, I hadn't watched a lot of it since, like, 2007. So I just, like, on my last rewatch, like, now I can start thinking about those episodes and coming up with things to say. So... You know, eventually there might be more Ava videos, but that's why there haven't been more so far. Uh, but aside from those, the Hideki Anno video I was particularly proud of, and I legitimately got depressed after making that video because I thought I wasn't going to be able to top it for a while. Like, I didn't have any ideas that I thought would be as good as that um, until the Asterisk War came along. So, you know, I feel good that I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm still topping myself and the stuff I'm, I'm making is still progressively getting better. And, um, you know, I just named mostly large videos and those tend to be the ones that I like the most. I tend to favor my, my big long form videos. Not to say that some of my smaller ones weren't also ones that I'm proud of. The, uh, 15 things I want from anime romance, I really enjoyed doing, um, I think my Yu Yu Hakusho review is probably the best, like, straightforward review I've ever done. I don't know how many of those I have left in me <laughs> to do, but, like, uh, I definitely want to move towards those bigger videos because I think those are the ones that, like, that... Th those are the ones where I impress myself. I don't know if that's true of everyone. Some people might think that they're worse. Some people might want the smaller, more just here's why it's good, whatever opinions, you know. But I, I tend to favor the... Uh, the in-depth looks at things um, and I prefer that from other content creators too I my favorite videos from everyone are their long videos you know so that's it's what I favor in general and what I would like to see more from myself but you know aside from those last year you know while while those were my favorite videos I made they only represented a small amount of what I did and uh, you know I had some videos that have been taken down here and there that maybe uh, haven't been seen by as many people there was one collaboration I did with the YouTuber Ocelot where we talked about the soundtracks of 25th of summer 
summer season? No, spring season anime uh, that was blocked in the U.S. Um, so I'll put a link to where you can watch that because I put it back up on Daily Motion. A, a lot of the videos that were taken off of my main channel were re-uploaded either on Daily Motion or Google Drive, and you can find them through my blog, my sword is unbelievably dull .wordpress.com, which is where I post all the text versions of these videos. And whenever I rehost a video, I, I link it in that those posts. So if you follow my blog, it's always being updated with links to the latest versions of those videos and stuff that gets taken down, you know, will appear there. And also most of the videos I have lost, like early in the year, I lost the, um, food, sex and life in Kofuku graffiti video, which had gotten really popular really quickly and then got a community guidelines strike, which is why I have the strike on my account right now. Um, for completely bullshit reasons, it was totally unfair, an unfair takedown, the video had no explicit content in it whatsoever, but, um, you know, that was taken down, I believe it's on Digi Does Anime, which, you are probably familiar with Digi Does Anime, because that's where I've been posting the Asterisk War Sucks videos, because they're too long for this channel, and it's home to, uh, re-uploads of, like, everything I did up through February, because... Um, my channel had gotten taken down, so I re-uploaded, like, all of my videos en masse onto DigiDoes Anime. They're totally disorganized, but, um, they're all up there, along with stuff like the longer version of, uh, things I want from Anime Romance. It was the six things as opposed to the five things, and, um, a vlog, or a, uh, a podcast I did with the YouTuber Nino, um, about the summer season anime first impressions. Kind of irrelevant now, but, you know, there was a podcast there if anybody missed that, and the other... Uh, 10 must-see anime you can watch right now. There's one I posted on that channel because it was too long for this channel. Uh, so yeah, and then, of course, if you don't know about it, because I, I realized that I haven't actually mentioned this channel on on my main channel for a long time, but I have a channel called Digibro After Dark where I post a lot of, like, vlogs and just random stuff, like, funny little things that I don't think are appropriate for this channel. Um... I, I, like, I used to advertise that channel back in the day, but it's been so long since I mentioned it that I don't know that, like, a lot of my viewers are even aware of it, except for the ones who've been around for a long time, but, like, uh, or people who follow me on Twitter, um, but yeah, I've got, like, a lot of, towards the end of the year, I was doing a lot of vlogs on there about, like, random social subjects that I find interesting, some were just on music, any, anytime I talk about music, it's usually on there, um, because I usually just vlog about music as opposed to making, like, edited videos about it. Um, me and my friend Trevor just did our top albums of the year the other day, which we posted up. Uh, and there's a lot of fun little weird stuff on Digibro After Dark. There's also a channel I made that I didn't even announce anywhere except on Twitter and on my Let's Play show, which is called List Bro. Um, I only made one video there, my top 10 Game Grumps playthroughs, which I was actually really proud of how that video came out. And I was going to make more List Bro videos, but uh, I basically invented the channel at a time when I didn't have any ideas for the main channel, and I had like a bunch of list ideas, and then I came up with the Asterisk War Sucks video, and that sucked up all my time, and I didn't end up making any more lists. But that channel may be posted on sooner rather than later, depending on whether I do certain videos, so... Go check that out and subscribe to it if you've never heard of it, which you probably haven't, because, again, I only mentioned it on Twitter and on my Let's Play show. And if you didn't know about my Let's Play show, then, uh, you know, I, I put out... The grand total of all videos I put out in 2015 was 575 videos. If that number sounds way out of proportion, it's because 460 of those were Let's Play videos on my channel, The Digi Bros which me and my brother Victor started up when my channel was dead because I had just been watching tons of Game Grumps and I, I just wanted to do a Let's Play show. And me and Victor started it up and it went way better than we expected it to. Um, we have had a lot of fun with it. We've been doing it consistently all year. We'll probably keep doing it uh, as long as it remains a thing we can do together. And yeah, there's, what, 20 playthroughs on there now? We played through, like, Zelda Ocarina of Time and... Um, Twilight Princess, we played through Dark Souls, we're just starting up a Bloodborne playthrough now, we played through, uh, like, a Kirby game, Kirby 64, oh man, all kinds of shit, uh, there's, there's ones where, when I didn't have my brother Victor around, I, I had my friends on, we have a Digi and Friends show, there's just a, a ton, a ton of Let's Plays that I made all year, um, you know, I didn't ever expect the channel to get very big, and so far it hasn't, but I, and I've advertised it here and there in videos, but I've never made, like, a big deal out of it. 
So if you didn't know about it because I haven't mentioned it enough, now you know I run a Let's Play show. Um, if you if you want to just catch up, there's a fucking 450 videos that you could watch, literally days worth of content. Or uh, if you just want to start fresh with something new, the first episode of Bloodborne came out today. Uh, that would be January 4th, so um, you can just jump right in and have a good time. <clears throat> Aside from that, I've also been doing the Pub Crawl, which is, uh, used to be a radio show that I did on, like, an internet radio channel. We only had, like, 15 listeners. It's me and my friends Cider, uh, who's the host. Um, I'm the co-host, and then our friend Jeff Burgess, who's a musician. He is usually on the show as well. We have a, a few regular hosts, but we, we had this radio show where we just get drunk late at night and talk about whatever came to mind. And uh, we decided to leave the radio station we were on and just do it as a podcast. So now if you look up, I believe it's DJ Cider's Pub Crawl is the name of the YouTube channel. There's a podcast over there that I do. We do two episodes. No, now it's one episode a week. But yeah, there's an episode every week. They're an hour and a half long, up to two hours sometimes. And there's a, there's a ton of them. I don't think a lot of people know I do that show, but if if you just can't get enough of my fucking voice and you want to hear me and some other people talk about just whatever the hell, you know, I, I've been doing Pub Crawl forever. We usually talk about alcohol a lot because it's a drinking show. Uh, and then another podcast that I'm a part of that just started up, the Procrastinators Podcast, which is me and all of my best friends on the internet. That would include Endless Jess, who, if you don't follow him, you should be following him. He's probably the best YouTuber ever. Uh, he's got a bunch of channels, but you can find them all if you go through Endless Jess. Uh, Hippocrit, who is a video game YouTuber who's also really excellent. Best Guy Ever, who made a big splash this year when he started doing long-form anime analysis and video game videos. You should definitely be subscribed to him if you're not already. Um, his brother, Ben Saint, who's a comics artist. Our friend Tommy Oliver, who does, uh, like, cartoon reviews and also has a channel called Rebel Pixels. And, uh, The Devu, my editor, friend, and, you know, also a great video maker. Is that everybody? Is that all the all the crew? We all have a podcast together now called the Procrastinators Podcast, and and our friend Mage, who's also an artist. Um, and we've done two episodes so far. Go check that out. It probably will become a regular thing. Um, we might also, me and Best Guy Ever, might start up an anime podcast on that channel. So you know, subscribe to that if you want to hear an anime podcast. I might invite some other anime YouTubers onto it, whom I am friends with or who I know. So uh, it could become a bigger thing than what it currently is. Uh, and I've made cameos in a lot of videos by all those people I just mentioned. I was in Best Guy Ever's Monster Musume video, for instance, which was a hell of a good time. You should check that out, especially if you like Monster Musume. Um, yeah, so between all of my channels, all the channels I've appeared on, all the extra random videos I've done, other things like my Reddit board. If you if you don't know, I have a Reddit called um, r slash digibro where people ask me questions. I've answered tons of questions on there, some with detailed answers. I did a, an enormous, I mean, uh, I did a live stream Q&A that was 24 hours long for me hitting 100,000 subs. Uh, and 14 hours of that have been uploaded onto Digibro After Dark. It's completely disorganized, but if you just want to hear me field questions for 14 hours, then there's a live stream of that. But I also have the Reddit board where I answer questions, and also there I've been posting, like, charts and things I've made, like, uh, charts of... I, I made a How to Get Into Magical Girl anime chart that's up there. I made, um, some, like, anime depth charts and stuff. I made lists of, like, my favorite directors, my favorite animators, my favorite voice... Not animators, uh, art directors, and voice actors and stuff like that. I like a bunch of cool little graphic lists that I've put up on the R Digibro subreddit. Um, and they have been drowned out in tons and tons of questions that people ask me. So anyways, I'm running out of time now, but yeah, through that R Digibro subreddit, there's links to like everything else I've done. You should follow me on Twitter because I post on there constantly and I've always got an opinion on something or other. So anyway, I hope you enjoy all that shit, if you haven't seen it all, binge watch it, because we're starting 2016 off with a bang, and I've got a bunch of fucking videos planned. So, let's get caught up and get into gear and go straight.